Hey guys, back with another Pico video, and this time it's covering another virtual desktop update. Now this is in beta, it's primarily aimed at the Quest 3 that's coming out, so there is some features for the AV1 decoding that's not going to be applicable to the Quest 2 or Pico 4. However, what is applicable to the, the older devices is a VR pass-through mode. Now this is pretty damn sweet. Obviously you can use it in your home environment here if you really wanted to just use your desktop in a pass-through environment, but it does work within Steam VR and it gives you a few controls to set a mask color. So I'm set to a pink here, and you see why in a second. I will say that it only works on the high preset, resolution preset in Steam VR. It's really taxing on the headset. So the pass-through and the masking, you're not going to be able to run your godlike settings as normal. Um, and you also cannot use the Snapdragon game super resolution feature. So you have to bear that in mind. You're going to have to sacrifice in your, uh, in your visuals just to use this feature. But I've got the sub to pink. I have spent all evening, um, I will give a shout out first of all, I've spent all evening trying to modify a set of course. I've never done it in my life. Um, I've never used Blender in my life. So big thanks out to uh, Achameleon on the Pico Discord. He's gave me some fantastic tips to save me trudging through hours of um, tutorials for Blender. So I've managed to figure this out. This Getting this pink in a set of course was a bit fun. So. If I go back into VR here and get rid of Steam, you can now see this isn't uh, this isn't the best solution in the world because I've never used Blender in my life and never used the set of course of modding and I forgot to turn off the virtual hands. But you can get the idea that I've now got access to my buttons on the steering wheel, which is awesome. So this is uh, this is incredible. How I've managed to do this, I'm a complete idiot using Blender and a set of course of modern, so everyone can go nuts with this. If you've got dials, if you've got the handbrake shifter, if you know how to do this, then you're set. So I've only done one car at the moment. It's obviously modified per car and a set of course. I haven't, I haven't played a set of course in ages, so I have no idea if my mappings are all going to be good. And I'll try to keep the volume down, because this is going to be a loud car. With the Pico 4 camera, it's a central camera. This, getting the wheel to match up, obviously if I move my head, It'd be moving around, so this is this is still sixed off um, masking. So it's just treating the whole steering wheel as pink. I'll just give it a, one big pink disc on the steering wheel, so I can still move around, and the perspective will change. But when you're sim racing, I mean, if I just get myself comfortable, it's fine. It's it's going to be in the right place for why I need it. When I look down, I can see my steering wheel and stuff. You're never really looking at your wheel anyway. Um, disabling your hands, you might be able to make this mask bigger, so you can see more that you need to. But if I get rid of the uh, PK4 metrics as well, virtual desktop metrics, uh, wrong button, I can just do a quick demonstration. So, again, I've just modded a completely random car to, um, to recenter yourself. Obviously, I set of courses look left, look right. So, that could um, be a quick way to change because I've completely forgot to configure my seat adjustment. So, you need to just configure where this is, central to where your wheel is, and you're all good. This is obviously massively proof of concept. I did ask Virtual Desktop if they have a, um, a depth buffer. And as you can see here, the G-force effects I've got locked to horizon. So when I'm going uphill, to stop me being motion sick, my vision is flat, but the actual car is moving around. So what you're going to need to do with this setup anyway is turn off that lock to horizon. So it will keep your wheel in the same place. but. Again, this is completely proof of concept. Um, I just want other people to do better jobs at this because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing on Blender, obviously. So, yeah, this is an entirely cool update. Um, I'll chuck a video at the end of people using it on Beat Saber so you can have mixed reality Beat Saber. Any color that you have in game. So if I want a green, for example, you can set that to be, all be masked out. So it's not going to make everything a perfect mixed reality experience, but if you can control the environment that you're in, so in my case, steering wheel, I can make pink just to make this area see-through. Um, there's a lot you can do with this now, and this is not running off your PC, so it's not got access to the depth um, buffer, which I was hoping I could actually set, so I could uh, make this a little bit easier to set up. But again, if you're uh, if you're more clever than me, a blender and a set of Corsa, you can def definitely make use of this for your gauges, the shifter, or just make the whole dash um, an area that is pass-through. Um, it's awesome. So I hope someone can make use of this tip. I'm really happy with this. I'm going to experiment further and uh, see what I can do with it. So thank you once again, Virtual Desktop. Give it a thumbs up. You can see this is awesome.
The scope of my engineering genius literally knows no bounds.